So this is Dilly, Terry's 20-year-old Molly Mule. She came to Terry a few years ago, very overweight and metabolic. She has a musculoskeletal deformity from a trailering accident that happened long before Terry got her, for which she was never treated. Her teeth and mouth were out of balance, her feet had been neglected, and she is recovering from a drop to top line and muscle atrophy behind her scapula from being ridden with an ill-fitting saddle. We are using her so we can show how to determine a correct saddle fit to how she could be, not how she is, because she still has room to improve. Muscle atrophy behind the scapula is the most common problem we find. This wire is coming off with dips in it where Dilly is atrophied. This is not good and is due to saddles in the past being too narrow for her and physically changing her musculature to conform into the shape of the saddle tree. In most cases, the ribs and spine don't change from an ill-fitting saddle, just the muscles in between. To evaluate whether the saddle will allow room for how the back could be, if your horse has atrophy or dishing in the wither area, you smooth the dips out of the wire to simulate correct musculature and then lay it into the saddle to determine if your bar angle is wide enough to give room for the animal's back to fill out. Now we have a healthy revised wire shape to reevaluate your saddle fit with. Here you can see the saddle's bar angle is much narrower compared to Dilly's healthy back angle. There is about one inch of space between the wire and the bars. Here, Terry shows our goal, which is to have the bars 100% in contact with the horse's back as it should be for comfort and freedom of movement. This is an example of the saddle being too wide for the horse when the wire only contacts the top of the bars. This would create excessive pressure close to the spine. Here, the wire only contacts the bottom of the bars, showing that the saddle is too narrow, causing excessive pressure in the shoulder area. Another common problem we see is horses with a dropped top line. This is caused by poor rider positioning, saddles pinching and or bridging, feet and or teeth out of balance, and weak muscles. Because of Dilly's dropped top line, there is a half inch of bridging, which creates excessive pressure points on the front and back of the tree. This is very uncomfortable and needs to be shimmed in order to correct for the saddle's uneven contact while allowing for the muscles to regenerate. In a separate video, we will discuss how to do corrective saddle fitting with our unique wood felt Remuda saddle pad. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to contact us.